Hello friends, today we're going to do a repair that I promised to you last time and that is the cleaning of the aperture blades of the Nikkor 15 meters 1.8 here we're talking about the AF version without the D but then the construction of this lens is almost identical to the D version so whatever I do here applies to the D version as well so if you remember last time we had this lens which was, which was completely destroyed we already put put it back together in good condition and then the thing that was missing was the aperture blades which was very very dirty and then as you can see here if i don't force it it remains blocked and then you can see that it is really 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 ugly okay so what we're going to do now then is to open the lens really trivial thing if you follow my channel so first thing to do is to take these rubber cones here and then we're going to remove the front element here and then here we remove this plastic part and then if you remember these things were from the brutes that destroyed the lens last time so this is the first part then you find yourselves here with these three screws that you can simply remove using a j00 screwdriver that i give a link in the description of the video if you don't have one and then you want to acquire a set they come from japan they're rather good and then if you don't have it and then you want to try it please be careful when you use phillips screwdrivers even if they seem to fit they don't and then uh, what usually happens is that the screw heads get destroyed or in really bad condition and then the only risk you have there is to have a screw which is stuck and then that's rather painful to repair okay so we remove the three screws now we can remove this part really really simple business there is some hair there okay and then here we reach the element we're looking to reach which is the aperture and then you see it works in extremely bad condition if i don't move it it is blocked so we're going to remove it and get it clean and then here i will go for a smaller screwdriver i'm going to take a j triple zero which happens to be in the same set as before let me get some tweezers that we're going to need just here now I have my tweezers and then we need them just to take this element here which is the spring that make the mechanism come comes back so we remove it we put it here safely and then here we have two screws that we need to remove on This one was a bit loose, I would say. And then here we get the two screws. So we have one of the screws which has a funny shape. Let me try to zoom into that. Okay, let me get it close then. Okay, it has this funny shape. And then that's to obviously screw and then hold the spring which is used to make the mechanism come back so get back to the lens we zoom out a little bit and then we have this element here and then what we want to do now is to remove the diaphragm 
yeah, I remove it. I'm being a bit careless because I actually want to get this out. And then we want to pop the blades out for cleaning. Okay. So we are here, this part seems to be a bit dirty and then the blades as you saw before they are a bit dirty but then once disassembled they look less dirty as the oil spreads quickly by capillarity and then this part here a bit dirty too and then as you remember when we rebuild this lens this part here was deformed and then this is why uh, the paint it's a bit gone away so this is all for the disassembly and then uh, the things we want to reach on this disassembly as you can uh, as you saw it is extremely extremely easy so we reach the point we wanted to reach now I'm going to stop the video for a few seconds just to go and fetch and uh, the lighter fluid with which we're going to clean all these things. So, see you in a few seconds. So, hello friends, I am back, I am ready, I got the stuff I need to clean these uh, aperture blades which are oily. That is this uh, stainless steel cup, my uh, lighter fluid, if you don't have, and you can replace it by either gasoline or barbecue gas they all do fine or petrol whatever just something that removes grease and then um, a bit of toilet paper and then this is just to do the cleaning after so what i do is i put all the elements i want to clean inside the cup clean this open the lighter fluid and then very simple I just pour a bit and then I let the thing do the job some 30 seconds do I remove a bit then what I can do just after is to pick this is something I forgot to bring but I have one here it's a cotton swab just to start cleaning things and then here what I do is I start removing the parts top of the toilet paper and then I start drying with the cotton swab this is something rather trivial to do as you can see and then the good thing is that the lighter fluid which is also a decreasing agent is going to take out all that oil that we don't want into our lens so this is the first part clean now then we move it aside we take the next one Then uh, I'm going to repeat this a few times. So what 
I'm going to do is just to stop the video now and then we meet in a few seconds once I have finished doing all this cleaning which is pretty much the same thing all the time so see you in a few seconds so hello friends I am back I am done with the cleaning now we're going to reassemble the lens and then to do so we're going to start by reassembling the diaphragm here you will need a bit of patience because it doesn't work all the time at the first shot but then uh, I will try to explain to you so you're really successful into doing this so first thing you notice is that I arranged the blades in a way that I can assemble them easily and then uh, each blade has two pins which are pointing in the opposite directions so we have the pin which is pointing upwards is the one about in the middle here and then the one in the corner is pointing down so now we're going to take the blade here and then we put it into the hole here which is intended to receive it then we take a second blade we put it into the next hole and then here you have to notice something is that I'm putting them counterclockwise and then this is really important for the operation of the diaphragm and then the last one is the tricky one because we have to pass above the previous one obviously and then below the first one so what I do here is I move the first one a bit just to discover the hole and then I come and put the last one and then I take the first one raise it just a bit and then get all the blades into the right position now we have this cam which is going to move all the blades into the right motion and then here we have this small uh, protrusion that needs to go into this slot here and then we just move it back and forth until we get all the pins into the slots here and then you see the diaphragm which is working now okay so that's the first part that was the easy part I would say now I take this part which is a cylinder to hold it a bit in the air now you can see it and then I take the lens and then I'm raising it because I need to put it here into the interior which is a bit recessed but then here I need to be extremely careful with this part here which is the aperture lever here that you see into the lens that needs to pass to this small hole and then this part sometimes it goes really really easy sometimes it takes a few tries so I'm going to give it a first shot showing to you but then if I fail I think I'm going to cut the camera okay this is unbelievable but then I manage it in the first shot very lucky me okay then we take this we put the cover we let the lens stand in and then we're going to put immediately the screws that hold the complete diaphragm together so we take the the one with the funny shape on the side where we have the small lever and then that we're going to connect just after with the with the spring and then on the other side we take and put the standard screw that you have here and then we don't tighten them not yet 
because we need to make sure um, the aperture is calibrated so it opens completely when we ask it to open completely and then it closes to the right position so we take and put the spring so this one is also a tricky thing to do sometimes it takes many many tries like here okay it seems to work the, the thing is going is working fine now now we just need to adjust it because as you see I'm asking it to open fully but it's not really open entirely and then this is because the ring is not exactly in the right position regarding the screws and then as you probably notice it before the screws had some kind of slots that allow a bit of play so we can rotate this part and then here okay this is this is working perfectly okay so this is what we wanted so as you saw it's not the simplest of installation but then um, when it works it works so I'm really happy with that and then to finish the assembly of the lens we put okay obviously you need to blow it in case you get some dirt inside and then you put the front element with the small screws which are intended to this purpose okay. sorry for that it was getting super zoom then we put the last part which is purely cosmetic and then here we are this is how you clean the aperture ring no the diaphragm of a Nikkor 15 mm 1.8 and 1.8 d so this is all i wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?